Hello guys, today I just want to show you guys how to uh, take any song and edit it as a custom ringtone to upload onto your phone. For my example, I'm going to use a BlackBerry 8800. So just to start, what you'll need is the BlackBerry Desktop Manager software. So first go to your uh, internet, Firefox, and just go to Google and type in BlackBerry Desktop Manager. It should be the first or second link. So click on the first one and then you're going to see it says BlackBerry Desktop Software version 5, version 4.7, get the latest one next and then you're going to see one that says without media manager and one with just get the one with the media manager download it, install it and then that's what you're going to use to upload your ringtone now after you do that we're actually going to edit the ringtone now so you're going to need some sort of editing software I have Sony Vegas here this is a video editing program so this is what I'm going to use to edit my mp3 file into a custom ringtone. You can use any other program that you like, but for this example I'm going to use Sony Vegas. Now, I have my uh, mp3 right here. I'm basically going to drag it into Sony Vegas. And then I'm going to drag it into the timeline. This is where I'm going to edit the, the audio. So, I just want a certain portion of this song to be my ringtone from around here to 19 right here so what I want to do is I want to take this portion and delete every other portion of the song so it's easy to do that you just see these yellow triangles right here I'm gonna drag one yellow triangle out and I'm gonna stop it at the 19 and the first one I'm gonna drag it and stop it right where I want the song to begin the ringtone to begin right there so then I'm gonna go to edit trim and that's basically going to delete everything except what I've highlighted so now I'm going to drag this to the beginning of the timeline these two as, as well you can see the second yellow triangle if I drag it uh, up and down it highlights where the end of the song is so that's where I want to let go okay so now I'm going to play it from the beginning see if this is the portion I want Okay, as you can see, uh, it just stops unexpectedly in the middle. Now, I just zoomed in a little bit on the timeline. So, what I want to do is create a fade so that it doesn't just stop randomly. So, how do I do that? It's very simple. You just go to the end of the timeline, and you put your mouse on the top right corner of the timeline, and you're going to see an arc, and it's going to say fade offset. So, you want to left click, drag to your left and you'll see fade offset 16 milliseconds 17 I'm gonna set mine to around 25 and the beginning I'm also gonna set it to around 5.5 so now when I play from the beginning you see it fades in it, it fades out of the song that's what I want so now now that I have this edited all I have to do is save this file so what I'm gonna do is go to file render as now uh, I'm just gonna name this ringtone dot mp3 you're gonna see the file type I want you to go to mp3 if your phone supports something else you can also save it as something else but I'm gonna save it as mp3 now you're gonna see default template I'm just gonna click here and choose a template I'm not gonna use the exact template or you can but I'm just going to explain this part right now. Just choose anything like 128 uh, kilobits per second CD quality audio. So we're going to go to custom and then you're going to see the bit rate and the quality. So this determines how big your file is going to be since most phones don't support you know megabytes of ringtones you want to create uh, a smaller file so just choose 96 kbps with 44,000 Hertz and the quality you can drag it to medium. Stereo and you don't need to edit these settings this is basic for the uh, title and stuff click OK and then you're gonna save it so there you go it rendered the ringtone so close and uh, go back to your desktop or wherever you saved it so you have the ringtone right here when you highlight over it you see it says 141 kilobytes so if your phone can support that much then go ahead that's fine if your phone can't support that much then you're gonna have to save it as a lower quality so go back to render as back to uh, a smaller uh, quality near CD quality audio custom so I'm just gonna choose let's say 80 
kbps 32,000 hertz and back to medium stereo okay uh, save this as ringtone 2 okay and now you'll see ringtone 2 when I highlight over it's 117 kilobytes compared to uh, 141 kilobytes so you saved a couple of kilobytes there now uh, just test if it works open up any uh, player and just drag it into there okay you can hear it playing that's cool so now you just want to upload this to your phone so start up the desktop manager that you downloaded earlier and you installed so start up blackberry desktop manager or whatever phone you have to uh, upload content onto your phone so now i have blackberry desktop manager so basically right now i'm just going to connect my blackberry to the computer through a usb port so let me do that okay so i've connected it now and as you can see it kind of grays out and it detects my blackberry so it wants to update i'm not going to update stuff now all right so then you want to go to media you click on media so you're going to have media manager and then blackberry media sync so since I told you to download the one with Media Manager, that's what you want to start. Click on Start. And then this application is going to start up. This is what you're going to use to uh, transfer the ringtone onto your BlackBerry. Okay, so then click on Manage Music. Okay, so now you're going to see My Media on the left. Please activate Mass Storage Mode. You don't really need this, but uh, sometimes you do. So click on um, My Media on the left. This is where you're going to find your uh, media. So uh, what I'm going to do is click on File, Import Music. OK, now I'm going to go to, well, it, it wants to uh, import music this way. But you can also do it another way, which is actually easier. If you drag it out and get your ringtone right here and drag it into Media Manager, you can drag it right here into your library. So that's what I'm going to do. So boom, it drags it right into the library. Now, find your song. Let's see, it was Overworld. I actually named it Ringtone, so let me see. Okay. Okay, ringtone.mp3, right here. So, now you can see on the bottom left corner, you see you have Blackberry, two Blackberries, one with media card and one with device memory. If you have a media card, you can put it onto the media card. If you don't have a media card, then you can just put it into a device memory. So what you want to do is go to device memory and you see ringtones right here. So click on this tree branch and this will open the ringtones right here on the, on the right side. If you click on pictures, this application is kind of slow. If you uh, click on pictures, you see pictures will come up on the, on the right side. So click on ringtones again. So this is where I, I just want to drag and drop my ringtone into the BlackBerry. So click on ringtone, take it, drag it, and release. And it's going to say, do you want to convert or copy for BlackBerry? You can copy with no conversion. You can convert for optimal playback. This will basically edit the, uh, the volume of the file so that it doesn't get too loud and distorted. So just go to convert for optimal. OK and then it'll copy it into the BlackBerry and boom you see it right there ringtone.mp3 so now all you have to do is go into your BlackBerry uh, go to the media section or whichever and you're gonna go into your device uh, device memory not the media card unless you put it into your media card and boom you set it as your ringtone so that's how you edit any song for a custom ringtone and also if you wanted to uh, edit the volume straight from the computer without uh, editing on the BlackBerry or converting it from the BlackBerry, you simply use this slider right here, and this will change how loud the song is. So usually, if I want to edit on the computer, I do negative 4.5. You can see it right there, and then just render it, and it'll render it. It'll be it'll be less loud, and then you can put it on your BlackBerry without converting. So uh, this was my tutorial, and please leave some comments if you need any help. Feel free to uh, PM me. Thank you.